Television icon Mike Willisey has died at the age of 76. The veteran journalist has been battling throat cancer since 2016. Damien Ryan compiled this tribute. So many good questions. You're getting a little bit desperate. No, 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 no. If I buy a birthday cake, do I pay more or less? Could have been fighting with your parliamentary colleagues. On an empty yeah. stomach? And so many good answers. Making up Mike Willisey's journey through half a century of television that spanned politics and sport, fun and faith. When I first walked into the Daily News newsroom, phones were going and people were running. I thought, this is exciting. Mike Willisey, son of Labor Senator Don Willisey, first hit the national stage in 1967 as a reporter at This Day Tonight on the ABC. The question of parliamentarians' phones being tapped came to some sort of head here today. Before moving to their flagship program. I've spent the last four weeks in Vietnam. Vietnam was the best story of an era. Mike made the jump to the Nine Network in the early 70s to enter a current affair, where he formed a long-running friendship with disabled boy Quentin Kennahan, and sparred with leaders of the Orange People Cult. I beg your pardon. I said your godlike figure is happy to be... I beg your a pardon. Whoever you happen to be. Well, is he a pimp or is he not? You know... You're a worthless man. There were some favourite guests. And you still was on a desert island with a pig. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I read that article in Cleo. Um, <laughs> Mike Willisey Enigma, a quiet sex symbol or a dull man with thick lips. <laughs> I read that. And Mike fostered a new face, making his mark on Australian television. Thanks for coming in, Paul, and giving us a hand. Hello, Mrs. Universe. Hello, Paul. What are the particular qualities that you um, look for in a man? I like a man to be strong on the outside like you and gentle on the inside. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Keep me up this night. I'll come Sorry, back to you Paul. after. Away from the cameras, Mike's pastimes included thoroughbred breeding and racing. And Rubicon from the Fox Plate. He helped herald in the new era of FM radio in Australia and at one stage owned the Sydney Swans. But he was always the interviewer. And his on-air encounter with Liberal leader John Hewson over the GST went down in television folklore. If I buy a birthday cake from a cake shop and, it, and GST is in place, do I pay more or less? It was all about the effect of the tax on the cost of a birthday cake. If it is a cake shop, it's cake from a shop that has sales tax and it's decorated and candles, as you say, that attract sales tax, then of course we scrap the sales tax yep. before the GST okay, would be but imposed. This is just an example. Hmm. If the answer to a birthday cake is so complex, you do have a problem with the overall GST, don't you? Dr Hewson's confused answer was blamed by many for the coalition losing the 1993 federal election. Mike had his own moment of on-air confusion. <laughs> On his trusty old corner. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but I'd already thought of something funny to say. And... Medication, not alcohol, he maintained, had made him tired and emotional. Can I start this all again? Mike Willisey's renown in television gave him rare access to the biggest names. You think it's a bit silly sometimes that people will pay $10 million to see two men fight? They spend $10 billion to go to the moon. And in more recent years, Mike reacquainted himself with the biggest name of all in his life, his God. The TV star experiencing a second coming of his religious faith. The years brought many rewards. The winner is Michael Willisey. But the greatest reward was the job itself. It's good to get this because um, there's been a lot of pressure recently. You know, the pressure of uh, intense competition, a lot of pressure, the spotlight of public attention and uh, pressure of uh, you know, every day, every night. I must confess that occasionally I say a little prayer. I say, dear God, please don't ever take this pressure away from me. Damien Ryan, Nine News.